What is good, people? It's your boy Bash. First of all, let me give a big thanks to Arnamain for giving me this gameplay. Uh, he has his own channel. He does commentate. If you want to check him out, I will put the link in the description. I highly recommend it. Um, in all of his videos on that channel, uh, he goes just as ham as he is in this gameplay, if not more ham. So uh, go over there, show him some love. He does some good work, so check him out. Now, the past couple of days have been really busy for me. I had a lot of stuff on my plate. Wasn't able to do as much uh, video making as I wanted to. Um, as you guys can probably tell, I have to fall back on the live commentaries. Going to try and pick them up again tomorrow. Um, now, I was playing a lot of Modern Warfare 2, actually, this weekend when I was getting the chance to play. You guys are probably wondering, why the hell would you play Modern Warfare 2? It's a rage-inducing game. Not that fun. There's a lot of problems with it. Um, these things are kind of true, but uh, whenever you kind of step back and play a game you haven't played for a while... Uh, in moderation, I wasn't playing it for like six hours. I probably would have got pissed if I was playing it for that long. But I was playing for about an hour, hour and a half, and uh, it was fun. I had fun. It's always cool when you get to you know play a game you haven't played for a while. Same thing with Black Ops. I would love to play Black Ops actually. If you guys, you guys probably know my homeboy Mike or Onslaught. He plays a lot of Black Ops. I'd love to play with him, but uh, my Black Ops disc is scratched, so I can do everything except get on multiplayer which sucks, and I've tried everything to fix a disc, nothing has worked, um, so I'm probably just gonna have to uh, pick up another copy of Black Ops, because I do wanna play a little bit of Black Ops, I wanna get some more Black Ops on this channel, especially with Black Ops 2, just around the corner. But the reason, the reason I was playing Modern Warfare 2, as you guys probably know by now, Terminal, which was a map on Modern Warfare 2, is re-releasing for Modern Warfare 3, they're bringing it out as a DLC, it's gonna be free, um, and they are re-releasing it as a DLC, I was hoping that I could get, uh, you know, a gameplay on Terminal because I did a commentary uh, all about that on Saturday. So if you don't know the details about Terminal re-releasing, um, you can check that out. Um, it's my last video I posted on Saturday. But uh, I didn't end up, you know, just my luck. I, try I played for about an hour, hour and a half. Didn't get a single game on Terminal. It always seems to be that way. Whatever you want to happen never ends up happening the way you want it to happen. But um, yeah, Modern Warfare 2 is still fun. You probably will see... Uh, some Modern Warfare 2 live commentaries coming out real soon, uh, maybe even tomorrow. So look out for that if you are interested in seeing some Modern Warfare 2. I will be playing it um, just a little bit here and there. I don't want to go crazy now. I don't want to pull all my hair out. Uh, but anyways, what I wanted to talk about today um, was more DLC information. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard or not. I actually just got the news myself. I just saw it. Um, it looks like on the Xbox 360. So I apologize for you PS3 guys, and I'll get to that in a second. But uh, on the Xbox 360, they are going to be uh, all the DLCs for Modern Warfare 3, all the DLCs for Black Ops are going to be 50% off. So they're only going to cost 600 MSP. So there are a lot of people who really didn't want to invest the money to play some of the DLCs. A lot of, a lot of people didn't appreciate some of the maps, didn't like some of the maps. Well, if there is a particular DLC out there that you did appreciate or you did have fun with or, um, or you heard good things about and you would like to download... Uh, you know, between July 3rd and July 9th, all those DLCs are going to be 50% off. They're only going to cost 600 Microsoft points. So you should probably uh, wait until then if you're going to pick them up. Uh, that, that goes for the new Modern Warfare 3 ones as well. Um, they're going to be 50% off. So if you guys are interested in buying any DLCs, if you're thinking about downloading any DLCs, hold off. Wait till July 3rd. Between July 3rd, July 9th, that will be the time you want to pick them up because they will be 50% off. Now, this kind of sucks. For PlayStation 3 players, I don't know why, but PlayStation 3 always seems to get the shitty end of the stick. I don't know what it is. Um, it, it has to be business related because, you know, everything translates into dollars and cents these days. And um, I have a feeling that Microsoft probably cut a deal with Activision one way or another. They probably paid for, like, you know, they probably put forth some money um, and said, you know what I'm saying, like, Activision. We're going to put these things on sale. We're going to compensate you this much money. And uh, it'll probably increase, you know, the number of people who are actually buying the map packs. It'll put some more money in your pocket. It'll have more people playing Xbox. Because at the end of the day, I think Xbox is smart. Um, they are trying to cut as many deals as they can with Activision to make it to make it so that people who play Call of Duty, people who are Call of Duty fans are more inclined to play on the Xbox 360 because they get a little bit, you know, they get, get some perks. I don't know if that's how it's going to be for Black Ops 2. I can't wait to hear about that. If you guys have heard anything about that. If um, the little deal between uh, Microsoft and Activision is still going to roll into, you know, 2012, 2013, let me know because I'd like to know. But um, it's unfortunate. I feel bad for you PS3 guys. Maybe they'll work something out for the PlayStation 3 as well. But I think it's, I, I personally, I think it's it's more like Sony's problem. It's Sony's issue. Sony doesn't seem to be, uh, you know, going out there and trying to cut these deals with Activision the same way Microsoft does. Um, but like I said, guys, um, if you are planning on buying DLC, hold off July 3rd to July 9th. That's when you're going to be able to get them for cheap. And um, as always, you guys can hit me up on Twitter or Facebook if you have any questions for me. Twitter.com slash bashlol, Facebook.com slash bashlol. 
those links are in the description um i will start live streaming soon as well so if you want to follow me on twitch that's in the description as well twitch.tv slash bash lol i'm gonna get out of here for now um if you guys did enjoy the video you can always show a little bit of love show a little support by just hitting that like button i'm gonna get out of here for now I'll see you guys probably tomorrow peace